Hello and welcome to Gary Vapes. Today we are looking at a new little kit from Inicon and it is the Goozy or Gozy. I'm going to stick with Goozy. Um, but yes, it's a tiny little kit, super lightweight, super, super cheap, I suppose you would say. Not cheap is in a bad way though, but I can imagine this is quite good. And it feels like it's one of them pods, mods type things that are kind of good for the environment. So yeah, we dive down. I'll show you what I mean. We'll come back up. We'll talk about the pros and cons. We would actually recommend it. Okay, so here it is, the Inakin Goozy. I'm assuming it's Goozy or Gozy. You choose. I'm going to stick with Goozy, just like now. <laughs> that sounds a bit better to me, basically. And um, here it is, is actually in the flesh. And um, we'll talk about that more in a second, though. So as far as boxing go, as you can see, as you'd expect with Inakin, they're using this sort of recycle type thing. Now, I do have to be careful to make sure I don't show you anything on here you shouldn't see. Um, but basically, yes, it's a 21700 milliamp hour battery inside, internal, not external, up to 60 watts, um, compatible with all the Z coils, light and compact design, and easy to feel. So when you buy one inside, you will get, obviously, your pod and your little tank in there and then you'll also get a user warranty a manual a spare coil and also a type c charging cable now as far as coils go you will get two you get the 1.2 ohm cal 2 uh, z coil and you'll also get the 0.8 z coil as well um so yes um they did semi spares as well but we'll, when we dive down i'll show a bit of a close up one on that as well so um yeah let's dive down closer Okay, so yes, here is one of the Z coils. Now this is the 1.6 and it is Kefnal and it can be vaped from 10 to 14 watts. As you can see there, it is a very small little coil, but it is quite a nice coil as well. Um, basically, yeah, this is the actual device. Now it is that double injected ABS type finish. Now I've seen this on a few devices now, also on some of the disposables as well, and I really, really like it. I'm not sure if you'll make it out completely in the camera, but basically it's got a yellow ABS plastic body and then a clear sort of plastic put around that and it sort of creates this lovely look and it really does feel nice and looks really really nice and there will be um i think there's six other colors so i'll put a picture up now for you to see the different colors um, but yes, screen-wise, this is not an amazing chip. It is quite a simple chip, but as you can see there, you've got all your normal stuff, wattage, seconds vaped, ohms, etc., etc. With Inicum, it's three clicks on, three clicks off. If you push and hold both up and down at the same time, you go through to the menu. Now, there's not a great deal in the menu, if I'm honest with you. There's cut-off, which basically lets you choose how long you want to be able to take a puff on before it cuts off and then if you do it again and go in you'll see screen you can literally choose how long you want that screen to stay on so yeah not masses to do really in there um obviously you've got an up down button now like all winnicom ones as well you have to push and hold it for a second and then it will flash then you can go for it so as i said it goes up to 60 watts and it goes all the way from 60 to 6 watts if you push the fire button and the up button at the same time it will take you through where you can clear your puffs so like so, clear your puffs back. If you push the fire button and the down button, it will take you through to locking the actual device. Now this will only lock the up and down, won't lock the fire button. I tell a light, it locks the fire button as well. Oh no, have I pushed it three times, is that why? Yeah, there you go. So you can still fire it, but you can't actually use the up and down button. So let's turn that off again for a second. So there you go. Um, there's a nice big fire button on it as well. It is all plastic made, but it does feel quite nice. It does feel quite well made. There's not much else really on it. Nice to see that the Type-C charging was on the front as well and not on the bottom. So that is good to see. Now, as far as the tank that will come in this kit goes, it is the go -Z kit. Um, and as you can see on the very bottom there, there is your airflow. So it basically, it does say it can do up to direct to lung but to be honest with you we'll talk about that more when we go up this is more for a mouth to lung experience if you ask me the cause themselves just pop in the bottom there and as you will see there is quite a little bit of leaking going on and that is one of the cons with this device and that is this top fill system i love it because it's a little pushover like so nice big hole as well no problem getting any bottles in there at all but it is quite loose as you can see there it doesn't take a lot to open it up and it has opened quite a few times in my pocket so i don't know if that's just my one or what but obviously from what i've got i can only tell you and it is very loose so yeah it has opened up a couple of times on me and gone everywhere but apart from that there's not a great deal else i can really tell you about it the actual width of it is about 27 mil so you could get a tank up there up to 27 mil but i don't know why you'd bother it kind of works very well with this particular kit and this particular tank but yes the tank itself will hold two mil e-liquid capacity if you're here in the uk because the tpd otherwise i believe the one i've got here which is the one that's going to be sold everywhere else will be 3.5 mil and the actual weight of this thing is only 73 grams so it is incredibly incredibly light so yes right not much else to talk about so let's go up let's talk about some pros and cons and we'll actually recommend it Okay, so yes, we are back up. Um, I should really clarify what I meant before we dive down. Um, it's not cheap as in build quality because this thing feels really, really nice. But I suppose what I really mean is eco. It feels very eco, you know, recycling, packaging, 
this sort of plastic bill, the plastic tank. It just feels like it's environmentally friendly, shall we say. But cheap is definitely not a word I would use with it. Now, it's not made of all metal and things like that. But it is that double, what do they actually call it? Um, let me get it right. It is called the double injection ABS finish. And yeah, it, it's really nice. I've liked it when I've seen it on other devices and it's no different to this. It looks really, really nice. Just has like an extra dimension to it, almost like an extra glossy sort of finish. So yeah, right. But anyway, let's talk about some pros and cons because it has got a couple of cons. It's not that bad, this first one, but it is worth mentioning. Um, yeah, for me, as a director lung, it's just not hitting it. I mean, if I literally have this as open as far as it can, and I'll give it a puff. Um, let's turn the water up, shall we? Um, we'll stick it on, I don't know, let's stick it on 40 for now. Right, so let's give it a puff. It just leaves you feeling a bit short. So if you're buying this thinking of going direct to lung, it's, there's better devices out there. Let's clear that up right now. However, if you want to do mouth to lung, it's perfect. The airflow is fantastic, which we'll talk about in a minute. And the biggest con for me is, as I said down below, is that top fill system just being so loose. And it really is loose. I mean, I mean, I can't, you know, it, it's just too loose. And a couple of times it's opened and it's gone everywhere. A couple of times it's opened the tiniest bit. And as you know, with tanks, when they're open a tiny bit, they sort of lose that airflow and they all pour out of the airflow holes underneath and then pocket full of e-liquid again. That is its biggest con. Now, it is a plastic construction, so whether something's broken or whatever in post, I don't know. As always, these are honest reviews. I'm alone either to the honest review, and this is honestly what it's been like for me, and it has become a pain. It's become that I've had to be so careful, I've had to put it down sort of thing and make sure I don't just stick it in my pocket and forget about it, otherwise it's going to leak out. So yeah, that is its biggest con. But apart from that, it really is pros. As I say, the finish to it and that is absolutely lovely. The lightness of it is unreal. It really, really is. It's got... A fairly big battery, but from what you're vaping this at, it's perfectly fine. It does last you the full day. It does go up to 60 watts, but I've not needed to vape anywhere near that, if I'm honest with you. With these particular calls, they sent me the 0 0.8 and the 1.6. I've found 40 watts is more than enough. So vaping around 40 watts as a, a heavy vapor, I would say I am, um, yeah, then yeah, I've not had a problem with it at all. Obviously, 21... 100 milliamp hour is perfectly fine in that sense of things. If you're going to be sticking on 60 watts and vaping away on it all day, then yeah, you're going to need a charge. But if you're vaping it like you normally would, say, you know, I used to smoke 20 cigarettes a day, so whatever that turns out to be in the vape world, if you're about that, then it's going to last you fine. So yeah, um, other good things about it would be the screen. Now, any could have always done things slightly different. You know, they do three clicks on and off instead of five clicks, things like that. So once you get past the initial sort of I don't know, alien type feel of it, it's perfectly fine. There's not much you can do with it, but it has got a bit of color. It's not that generic green and that, so I'm more than happy with that. It's a very, very simple device, but then this device for me really is for someone that's not really that fussed with things like that. You know, why would they want all that sort of stuff, DNA chip, things like that? This is for a beginner stroke, someone that just wants an easy life vaping. So yeah, I really like that as well. I like the coils as well. The flavor off of this is absolutely fantastic. I really didn't think it was going to be as good as it is. It really, really is. Now, as I say, it does use them Z coils. So I'll put a picture up now and show you. These are confirmed, definitely will work on it, but apparently there might be some more that work on it as well. I don't want to speculate. So these are the only coils that I know 100% do work on it. Um, so that's really good as well. Um, to give you an example now, let me turn this back up to what I'll sort of be vaping at. I'll be vaping this at around 40 watts and about half closed for me is perfect. So two of them little spot holes showing. It's really, really nice flavor. Again, I, I can't express to you how good that flavor is off them coils. I did not think they were gonna be that good. It's quite a warm vape, I will say that. Um, so generally 40 watts is at the hottest end. That's why I said before, I, I wouldn't really be using it any higher than that. But you know, if you want it a bit cooler, you bring it down to around 30 and then It's a lot cooler vape, but yeah, um, I've been blown away of it. Um, it's as simple as that. I've really enjoyed using it. I'm, I'm amazed with how good this is. When it first turned up, I kind of see it and thought, oh no, it's tiny. What's this? Is this a disposable tank? You know, I wasn't sure. Started looking into it, and since then, I've just fallen in love with it. Yeah, I would definitely recommend it. It's really, really good. Okay, well, let's end the review. And yeah, um, three, four, five years ago, I would never have thought I'd been saying something like this could be this good, but it really, really is. And again, I wish I was making that, well, I don't wish because I'm glad I don't, but I wish that I had these around when I was trying to quit smoking and start vaping because this would have been an absolute game changer. I wouldn't have had to keep yo-yoing back, smoking, vaping, smoking, vaping, trying to find the right thing. I could have bought something like this and just never looked back. So yeah, I absolutely adore it. I really do. I definitely hope they sort of fix this thing with this top thing. Now, whether this is because it's a pre-release and they've 
not updated it or they're going to update it, whatever it may be, or whether it's just particularly because this particular device is like it. Um, but yeah, it's just too loose and it did become a bit of a pain. But if that was fixed, then yeah, this for a starter stroke casual vapor, it's really, really good. So I like the look of it, I like the screen, I like everything about it. As far as prices go, I can't tell you, obviously because of YouTube. Um, assuming it's the sort of value that we would imagine, then I'm really, really struggling to suggest any other device that is sort of like this out there. Um, internal battery, you know, it really is the complete package. So yeah, I I've got to give it its props. I've really, really enjoyed using it. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Simple as that. And don't get me wrong, it's not the best pod I've ever, ever tried. But then some of these pods that are out now are really like sub ohm tanks with dual latent 650s. They're just made slightly smaller. But as a starter stroke smaller setup, you can't go wrong. You really, really can't. I would I would recommend this to anyone who's thinking of quitting smoking, that's for sure. But anyway, enough waffling on for me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do hit that like button. If you're not subscribed already, please do subscribe. And I'll see you again soon.